so thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got a bunch of stuff. So as you can see, I've got a big delivery of stuff here and I can't wait to go through it with you once again for another awesome haul video. Got some great stuff here, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is an awesome Star Wars haul. So let me just move some stuff out of the way because firstly... Firstly, we need to thank the lovely people over at Zavi. I did make a quick short on this the other day, but it didn't really do anything. And I, I did post it up on um, Insta and TikTok. Uh, but big thanks to Zavi for hooking us up with this awesome, awesome Wedge Antilles helmet from the Black Series line. I am very excited to have this in my collection, and I cannot wait to crack, to crack it open to do the full review. So please stay tuned, and uh, probably Bank Holiday Monday, I will put out this video of the full review of the helmet, because it is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a battle simulation helmet, and just a big thanks to Zavi. I cannot thank them enough for this awesome helmet. So, thank you, Zavi. If you want to check out, there is a link in the description where you can go uh, to Zavi's website. And if you use Super Sorrel 10, you'll get 10% discount on any purchase. And if you want to grab 20% discount on any clothing, use Super Sorrel 20. They have some great clothing on there right now from Star Wars as well, which is the next part. Because I have had some, uh, some more t-shirts delivered. So let's have a look. You can never have too many Star Wars shirts. One of the reasons I love ordering shirts and stuff, or get, you know, getting shirts from Zavi and stuff, is because they have my size. They do like Star Wars shirts in like Asda's and places like that here in the UK and other retailers, but they never have my size. They never have 3XL. So, Zavi always seem to have my size. And both of these shirts, by the way, were $7.99 each. So, I mean, you cannot go wrong. Plus, then you can save 10% and on top of that using my discount code. That is the first shirt. That looks awfully small. Whoa. That cannot be my size. Oh, it might be, though. Ah, oh, they've sent double XL. No! I'll have to contact them. Uh, but yeah, they've sent the double XL shirt, but never mind. Uh, yeah, we've got double XL of the Stormtrooper shirt. Actually, double XL, that'll probably be a good shirt to give to my dad for May the 4th. So actually, I'll treat my dad to a May the 4th shirt. And this is the other shirt for me, which is in my size, thank God. Hell yeah, the Mandalorian. I've not got a Mando shirt yet, so happy to have a Mando shirt. Look at that. Again, $7.99. Can't go wrong. So thank you very much, Zavi, for hooking us up with those shirts. Don't worry about the other one. Like I say, I'll give that to my father for May the 4th, and he's got a shirt to wear. Right, next up. I went to Smith's the other day, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if you saw my TikTok, but Smith's had a bunch of new Black Series in store, um, so I grabbed them. It took a little bit of time to get them because they were hiding up top, because uh, I always check, when I'm in the store, I always have my phone with me because I'm always recording and stuff, but I, I, ch I just checked out of interest of what they had in stock, and I did a search for the Jeddah Trooper because I saw that it was available, and my store did have them, and they, said they were showing seven in stock, but none of them were on the shelf. Turns out they had them in stock, but they were up top because the shelving was full. So always check on your on your, on the, on the phone for stock availability because sometimes they're hiding. But I was able to get the Jeddah Trooper, which I'm very happy to now have in my collection. This is number nine in the Star Wars Rogue One story. So I just need to get Brody now. Is it Bro Rody? Rody? I just need to get him now to complete the Rogue One line. So very happy about that. But yeah, nice new Stormtrooper for the range. You guys know, can never have too many troopers. I love Stormies. All types of Stormies. I've got a whole wall dedicated to Stormies. <laughs> and then possibly my favourite in the line, Bib Fortuna. He looks so good. So this is Bib Fortuna from the Return of the Jedi line. So this isn't a Mandalorian version. This is the original Bib Fortuna from Return of the Jedi. Best part is he does come with a bunch of cups for the Black Series. So obviously I've got my 3 inch diorama that I use for my um, cantina scene, but I do also have the 6 inch cantina that I got uh, from Hasbro as a part of the Hasbro PulseCon. So I can, I've now got some more cups to add to my diorama. So that's very cool. Obviously he's got the, white, he's got the long white one as well, which is what Luke used to drink his blue milk from, wasn't it? In, the, in A New Hope. So yes, two awesome new figures there. 
Then, you guys saw the other day, in fact loads of you saw because you really enjoyed the video, of me trying to get all the, all the, um, all the droid pieces, all the new droids for the droid factory, which I'm pointing up there to myself, my droid factory, and I was missing one. Well, I managed to do a trade on the groups. And because of that awesome trade, I have been able to get the last one I needed in the series. Oh, his head's in there. Woo, I thought he was missing his head there for a minute. I got scared. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I got a trade in and I'm very happy to now have it in the collection properly. Um, so big thank you to uh, Peter for helping us with that. I really do appreciate it, man. Uh, Peter did hook us up. So. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't Peter. I do apologise though, it wasn't Peter. Oh no, sorry, I do apologise. Uh, I got it from... I got, it, I got it from James. Thanks James, I do appreciate it. Sorry about that. I got it from, I got it from, uh, from James. Uh, he, he hooked us up, he's from the uh, Droids group on Facebook. So I'm just quickly putting this droid together now. <laughs> I think I'll put it wrong way on the side. Arrgh. There and there. There we go. And then we pop the head in. And there we have it. We've got the final droid in the series that we needed. This is a B5 SL or 5L. B5 5L. That's my yeah, we finally have it, guys. We have all the droids. Droid Factory line officially completed. Yes! I can now start doing my um, shorts that I want to do where I tell you guys where they're from in Galaxy's Edge and stuff like that. I've got a great little video series planned. Then finally I went to Wakefield Comics and I bought myself a bunch of new books. I couldn't resist. Had to be done. So we'll start with the graphic novels and then we'll move on to the singles. But graphic novels, I got Destiny's Path, Star Wars Destiny's Path, and then Star Wars Operation Starlight. So two new books there uh, from the, uh... and then I got Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. This is the, the mini series about the War of the Bounty Hunters and that, that leads now into Crimson Rain. Uh, so that that's like a whole thing that's going on now. It's like a continuation. So this is the War of Bounty Hunters Alpha and Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters One through Five uh, that's included in this in this uh, collection. There is a bunch more if you want to go out and read more of these stories. There were tons of other ones like to read and stuff, but I'm just looking to read the main the main bulk of the story because we start because then Crimson Rain starts after this one. So looking to read those. And speaking of Crimson Rain, I couldn't help it. I got number twenty, which is Darth Vader. And number 21 for Darth Vader, Crimson Rain. Uh, then I saw a couple of um, a couple of comics in the disc in the discount bin that I fancied reading, which is uh, the Hunt for Han Solo, which is a prelude to the War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, that's ep number 13 of Star Wars and number 14 of Star Wars, which is Save Solo. So I thought that'd go nicely with my uh, um, the, so the the War of the Bounty Hunters color collection. And then I've got Star Wars number seven and number eight, The Will of Tarkin, Predators and Prey. Again, they, they were in like the, the discounty bin of it. And then I got this great deal, which is Dr. Aphra, number nine through 13, plus annual one for 20 quid. So I got a whole bundle of Dr. Aphra comics, and I love Dr. Aphra. First introduction, obviously, of, of uh, Black Kirsten who's like becoming a very, very fan favourite character now because of Mandalorian and stuff and Book of Boba. But yeah, some great cover art on the, uh, on the Dr. Aphra's. And then there's the annual. The annual has got my favourite cover on it. I love that cover so much. 
I think not. I think Doctor Afro look, looks amazing on it, and that that snarling look on uh, Black Crimson's face is just amazing. Love it. So yes, plenty of new comics to be reading out over the next few weeks. And then don't forget, in a couple of weeks, we will have all the May the 4th comics be released as well. So that's going to be a good day. I'm hoping to do a May the 4th vlog again this year. Uh, obviously, you guys will see that on May the 5th. But um, I will be doing a May the 4th video showing you all the stuff I get up to. But don't worry, because on the on the couple of weeks, on the like the week prior to May the 4th, I will be posting up a load of Star Wars videos. Because um, I have come up with some really cool drink ideas from Galaxy's Edge recipes and things. And some really cool uh, food food um, food things to try that are from the Galaxy Edge cookbook. I've, I've kind of made some videos on that, and um, yeah, just how I how I celebrate May the Fourth and give you guys some ideas as well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that is everything for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly haul video, and uh, I've got plenty more videos coming up. Don't forget Bank Holiday Monday. I will post up the Wedge Angelis helmet, and then a couple of days after that, I'll get those Black Series videos online. I'll probably put the two online the same day, probably. Or am I doing the same video? I'm not sure yet. But guys, what are your thoughts on my haul? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video today, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye.